Hey guys, Joe here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the top 5 most buffed characters in Super Smash Bros. 4. Now, of course, it's going to be my opinion, so take it with a grain of salt, and if you have a different opinion of who you thought got buffed a little bit more, then tell me that in the comment section below. But with all that said, let's get right into the video. So the first character is, of course, Marth. Now, Marth has gotten some really good buffs and some more mediocre buffs, but in the end, in this latest patch, he's actually gotten quite a bit of really great buffs, and while he's not the best character in the game, he still is pretty strong because of all the buffs he's gotten. Now, of course, he started by getting these small buffs, you know, one or two frames, which really didn't matter way too much, and, you know, they made his side B work a bit better, but within the newest patch, or at least one of the newer patches, he got a really nice buff, mainly making a lot of his arrows do a little bit more damage, also, making a lot of his arrows have quite a bit less ending lag. Now, this lets you combo a lot easier, and it can also just make so it's a lot harder to punish a Marth player, especially if you do get the tipper. Especially with the new shield mechanic, it makes Marth a quite safe character to play compared to what he was a little bit ago. Also, probably the best part about Marth that was buffed is the fact that now his jab can combo into the side smash, his jab can combo into his forward air, and his jab can combo into his nair if you do it at the right time, depending on how the opponent DIs, you know, all that different stuff. But that actually does a lot of stuff, you know, that makes you can get some combos, makes you can get some true combos into death, and overall I feel like it makes Marth a much more playable and a much stronger character. Now for my next choice, I did of course choose Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong hasn't gotten way too many buffs, but the buffs that he has gotten made him really strong, and actually one of the stronger characters in the game right now as far as a heavyweight, or middle heavyweight as you can see it. Now in the beginning, all he really got was buffs to his cargo throw, but really not too great a buffs. They kind of buffed their percentages a little bit, but that's about it. Other than that, they also did buff his giant punch by making it go from 172 frames to 144 frames. So it's a little bit easier to use your giant punch, but it really didn't make too much of a difference. But the main thing that made Donkey Kong a lot better right now is the fact that he did get his ding dong combo in one of the latest patches. So you can go, of course, the cargo throw into up air or cargo throw throw them up into up air and kill it around 60% if you do have like 100 damage of rage. Now of course if you have like 160 damage of rage, you can actually kill at early percents, like you can kill the opponent at like 40% or even at 30% if you're on a place like Battlefield. It can be really ridiculous and I'd say just adding this one combo to Donkey Kong makes him a lot stronger character, it makes his grab actually have combos out of it and it just gives him a really early kill option making him one of the stronger heavyweight characters. Now it seems like a lot of people don't actually know that Meta Knight wasn't the best character back in the 3DS days. A lot of people just think nobody really played him, but there was the fact that he just wasn't the best character and he had a lot of bad stuff about him. His attacks didn't really hit into each other, he couldn't kill very on, so he didn't really hit at all, and his just moves weren't way too strong, but this actually have been buffed. Now some stuff that has been buffed is pretty much his dash attack, his up air, his up B, his forward air actually his combos a lot better now, his back air does too, and his neutral air. All of his stuff got buffed quite a bit, and it did make Meta Knight go from one of the lower tier characters in the game actually into one of the higher tier characters as we see right now. Now of course, the main thing that they did do was buff all of his different stuff, but the main thing was that they buffed his up air into up B combo. Now what this really helped you do is be able to kill the opponent at earlier percents. You really couldn't do this way too well when Meta Knight was of course on the 3DS, but once they did buff this, once they made Meta Knight a little bit better, it really didn't take away too much, he did quickly become one of the better characters in the game. The next character I'd put on this list is definitely Ike. Now, if you look at the patch notes, Ike actually has some of the most patch notes out of all the characters in the game, if you scroll down through all of them. He's been in most of the patches of the game, and has gotten a lot of buffs. Now, they started from just making his jab attack work a little bit better, then they buffed some of his smash attacks, and then they buffed some of his tilts, they made all of his tilts a lot faster, and overall, they just made him a lot quicker of a character, got rid of a ton of his ending lag, made so his down smash would hit a little bit faster, made so his down air would also hit a bit better, made so his forward air would combo, made so his upward combo, made so his neutral air was actually pretty useful finally, and they pretty much buffed everything about Ike and made him a lot better character. Now, also in one of the newer patches, they made so his up throw and his down throw will actually combo into your forward air, so you do have a combo out of your throw. Now, with all these put together, it does make Ike become a very strong character. Of course, at the beginning, he really didn't have way too much going for him, but now with this great buff pretty much around his entire kit, he has become a very strong character and actually is usable now in competitive play. So with Wii Fit Turner, I wouldn't ever say that she was really a bad character in the game. I always thought the Wii Fit Turner was actually pretty good. But the problem with her is that certain characters couldn't actually be hit by Wii Fit's forward tilt, they couldn't be hit by her forward smash, you couldn't grab them. Pretty much people like Kirby, like Game & Watch, or like Olimar, you couldn't actually hit these characters. And that really made Wii Fit not that great of a character in certain situations. It made so you really couldn't even win certain matchups, it was just an auto-lose matchup. And that was really no fun as Wii Fit, and that's just no fun in the game in general. But luckily for Wii Fit, she got a lot of quality of life buffs. There weren't really way too much like extra damage buffs, she did get a 
little bit of those, but most of them were that she could finally hit these smaller characters, and her hitboxes in general just, just get a little bit of a buff. Her up smash got a tiny buff, her down smash could finally hit some more characters, her forward smash could hit underneath her a little bit, so they of course could hit more characters, her grab could actually grab people that were short, and her jab attack could finally hit some of these shorter characters as well. Really what they did was Wii Fit, it just make Wii Fit a lot more playable against these smaller characters. Against big characters, she could always do okay, but against these smaller characters or the characters that would duck a lot, you can finally beat them, and I do think that's why I think Wii Fit should deserve number one on the spot. It made her go from instant lose matchups to actually having a really good chance and probably winning them. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you did enjoy it. Now I did want to make a little bit more top 5s, just because I know a lot of people were craving for some more top 5s, and now I do know that I want to do about 3 a week from that giveaway video. I got a lot of information from you guys, so do expect a lot more top 5s. Make sure to press that comment button if you do have any ideas for this type of top 5 in the future that you'd like to see. A little bit more ideas would be very helpful. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.